They're ready. Stand by. Gates back, and away they go. Hamden Park, very awkward out of the gates in the Unibet 3, Uniboosts a day, novice stakes. And it's over uh, almost 11 furlongs, and as they make their way through the early stages, it's through the ages that's come on through just about Lidl. Although Masai Mara, a principal market rival, isn't mucking around either in the early part of the race. O'Sheen Murphy wants to get that one uh, to at least level up with through the ages. Then another run, who's racing in third spot, but about three or four lengths behind the leading duo. Flowers already driven along, and Hamden Park has shown signs of greenness in the early part of the race. So they're making their way down the far side and heading towards the final mile. And it's through the ages that leads now by half a length to Masai Mara. Murphy appears to have given up the attempt to try and get past that one in the early stages. Gap of three then to another run, followed then by Flowers, the White Sleeves, and Hamden Park. The All Red Jacket is at the back of a, a more grouping field. Now looks like they've just slowed things down a little bit out in front as they make their way soon towards the final six furlongs. And the lead is with Through the Ages, but only now by about a neck to half a length. So Masai Mara in second, another run in the two-tone blue is racing in third. Flowers, the White Sleeves and Cap in last but one, and Hamden Park It was very slowly away, but it seems to be uh, getting the hang of things now fifth and last. So they make their way towards the end of the back straight very shortly and it's through the ages and Masai Mara through the ages uh, with the rail to help to Masai Mara a neck down in second, the two market principles followed then by another run who's just being nudged along now in third spot. Flowers has been driven along for a little while now Hamden Park the red track it tries to get a little bit closer three and a half furlongs left to go they're going to be leveling up for home very shortly. Through the ages now just beginning to exercise William Buick's arms a little bit. Oshin Murphy still going pretty well aboard Masai Mara in second the two of them turn for home, still very close together to another run. Then Hamden Park, who's moved into fourth spot, and Flowers has been relegated to fifth. Down towards the cutaway they come, just over two furlongs left to go. Through the ages has been working hard for a while. Masai Mara on the shoulder throughout. Now Breeze has passed. Another run is beginning to get up ahead of a steam into second. Through the ages has faded into third. Inside the final furlong they go, and it's Masai Mara by two or three lengths to another run who's trying to get within shouting distance. But Masai Mara has always travelled very strongly and has got a little bit left in the tank you reckon Masai Mara goes on to win for Oshin Murphy two in second position another run tight for third through the ages possibly just of a Hamden Park and Flowers who was fifth and last Gates back and away they go. The waiting game lived up to its name and was rather slowly away. Also rather uh, tardy out the boxes was Greek Giant as they make their way through the early stages of the Unibet horse racing betting operator of the uh, restricted novice. And it's Wadeka Gomez that goes on to, in second position, Woodstock, the market leader, who's got a nice posy early. Tempered Soul, another one of the market leaders. The yellow cap is relatively prominent, but just taking a bit of a hold. Then Sapodi in the green cap of Noble Sovereign, trying to float down into a more prominent position. Position. The green and yellow colours, Mrs. Van Hopper is in danger of approaching the turn quite wide. Then Krizov followed then by the waiting game and then after that exquisite beauty towards the rear of the field, Port Toro, also towards the back of the field at the moment is our land and right at the rear is Magnuson as they make the turn at the top of the track. They're going to be heading inside the final four furlongs very shortly and it's Woodstock having got to the front has just steadied things up a little bit. Leads to Noble Sovereign racing in second. Then up the inside Wadeka Gomez, the yellow and black sleeves is in third. Sapadine's going all right. The Czech sleeves in fourth. Followed then up the inside uh, by Tempered Soul who's in fifth. The Aussie Mystic, the black and maroon jacket tries to get a little bit closer. They're then followed by Mrs. Van Hopper, Krizov and the rest. They've swung for home. Heading on down to 
towards the final two and a half, and it's Woodstock and Charles Bishop out in front, but now Noble Sovereign is drawn alongside, then Wadeka Gomez, Tempered Soul, is now trying to get involved over on the far side, and then after that, Aussie Mystic trying to stay on, but it's Woodstock who's bossed this race just about throughout, who leads as they go inside the final furlong, to Noble Sovereign who's trying to throw down a challenge, Wadeka Gomez battling back, and then Tempered Soul, the far side, but it's Woodstock who's finding a bit more out in front here, and racing up towards the line, Woodstock has done it nicely for favourite backers, tight for second there between Wadeka Gomez, who's possibly just got that uh, over uh, in third spot. Noble Sovereign ran pretty well, and that was close for fourth. And away they go, very slowly away was Coco, Jack Tenjin uh, was also slowly away in the road to the Kentucky Derby condition stakes over a mile. Early stages, Brave Emperor in the uh, first Midland Park racing colours goes on. To up the inside, Killybegs Warrior in the orange jacket. Now just being snagged back a little bit is Alza here, who's taken into third spot. Then Metal Merchant in the uh, two-tone green colours races in fourth. Lieber Power, Rasheen Murphy in the blue and white colours towards the rear of the field, as is Tenjin and Coco Jack is right at the back. So they make their way down towards the end of the back straight. And it's Killybegs Warrior, just about the lead up to Brave Emperor around the outside in second. Followed then in third by Metal Merchant. Bit of money for this one prior to the op. Alza here is racing in fourth, the white colours, then Lieber Power. Followed then by Tenjin and still at the rear of the field is Coco Jack as they pack up inside the final four. Killybegs Warrior out in front in the hands of William Buick from stall one, the leader. To Brave Emperor who's been on the shoulder throughout in second. Then up the inside in third is Metal Merchant followed by Alza here. The white jacket on the outer. Lieber Power looking to sneak round the inside. Then Tenjin last but one. Coco Jack is right at the rear of the field. They've swung for home now. Just over two and a half furlongs left to go. Killybegs Warrior now just exercising Buick's arms. Brave Emperor is drawn alongside but is also being asked a question. Down the centre of the track. Alza here is getting going. Then Metal Merchant as a sprint is kicked in. Furlong and a half to go. Brave Emperor has hit the front. Just about the leader. The Killybegs Warrior is trying to battle back. Then Alza here on the scene from the back. Tenjin is staying on really well for Dara Keenan. Inside the closing stage as they go, Alza here, Tenjin these two, battling back is Brave Emperor racing up towards the line, it's going to be very tight, just on the far side, Brave Emperor I think battled back to Alza here and then Tenjin, they were the one two, three, looks like Killybegs Warrior might have got fourth Stand by. They're off and racing. Smart champion. Very, very slowly away. Hamlet cigar moment for that one. In uh, the Reed Nicky Henderson's Cheltenham blog at Unibet Racing handicap over the two miles. And Golden Rules goes forward in the early stages. Also, their military two step, who looked like 
uh, the main pace angle on paper, but has got a bit of competition uh, for that with Golden Rules, and it's these two that lead in the early stages as they make their way round the turn at the top of the track. Diamond Bay, the maroon jacket, is racing in third, followed then by the light of East Asia, who's racing in fourth, then First Emperor in the black and red, followed by De Vega's Warrior and Smart Champion and Safi Osborne right at the rear of the field. It could be a good 20 lengths uh, behind them at least as they make the turn into the home straight, and they're coming in more or less single five here. Golden Rules, the blue and white colours out in front by about four lengths to Military Two-Step, who in turn is about three lengths clear of Diamond Bay. They're then followed by East Asia. First Emperor is only a length down on that one. Then the black cap of the Vegas Warrior and Smart Champion in the quarter jacket is still at the back of the field. Well, they are a little bit closer together now than they were as they made the turn at the top of the course. So they'll be making their way past us very shortly and it's Golden Rules by about still four lengths to in second position Military Two-Step. They're then followed by Diamond Bay, who's racing in third. Then East Asia and First Emperor, who more or less match strides now. And then the Vegas Warrior, and right at the rear of the field is Smart Champion. And now only about, uh, I'd say, ten lengths off the pace. So slowly but surely, that one has got a little bit closer. As they make their way from us here in the grandstand in the uh, pretty heavy rain now. And with the edge, by quite some distance still, is Golden Rules. Three lengths to the good of a military two-step who's getting a nice run round in second, nice uh, target on the back of the leader, followed then in third position by Diamond Bay, then East Asia up the inside, followed then by First Emperor, De Vegas Warrior is still in last but one, and Smart Champion is right at the back. So they're making their way down the far side, heading towards their point of departure very shortly, and it's Golden Rules who continues to lead to military two-step in second, Diamond Bay is in third, East Asia lobs along in fourth, they're then followed by First Emperor and De Vegas Warrior and still at the back of the field is Smart Champion, but uh, uh, it continued to get closer together. This field, they are now more packed up than at any stage in the race. So, Sheen Murphy just trying to boss things out in front, maybe saving a little bit more and stack them up for a bit of a sprint home. We'll see very shortly as Golden Rules leads them to in second position. Uh, we've uh, got uh, Military Two Step, followed then on the outside by Diamond Bay, who gets a little bit closer. Then up the inside, East Asia, followed then by First Emperor, and still towards the rear of the field, De Vegas Warrior. And the slow starting smart champion who is now just beginning uh, to edge towards the, the side of the Vegas Warrior trying to make up a place or two. Inside the final four furlongs they go. Golden rules out in front by length and a half. Diamond Bay has now moved into second. Military two step still lobs along in third. Then first Emperor around the outside being held on to. Then East Asia smart champion now being asked for an effort. The Vegas Warrior at the rear of the field. They've turned for home. Two and a half furlongs left to go. And it's Golden Rules is now being asked for everything by Murphy. Two in second position. Diamond May for whom the pro Cush is now drawn, then military two-step followed by East Asia, down the centre of the track comes First Emperor, but as they go inside the final furlong and a half, it's Golden Rules, who's finding a bit more out in front, First Emperor in second, Diamond Bay in third, inside the final furlong they go now, and it's Golden Rules who still holds the call, First Emperor is getting going and closing, but racing up towards the line, Golden Rules, a virtuoso ride by Asheen Murphy to in second position, First Emperor, Diamond Bay finished in third, fourth also home, the Vegas Warrior. Gates back and away they go, they are racing rather slowly away, Ubahar also quite slowly out the gate, forever dreaming with Murphy looking for his treble as they go through the first furlong in the Unibet money back on selected Cheltenham races handicap and Geneva started well, the light coloured jacket, Oxygen Thief is up the inside there, the grey horse and the sheepskin noseband then Hannah's return in the black and yellow colours, view from the stars now is uh, being lit up to go around the outside as indeed is Runner Bean, there then followed uh, by Griggy towards the outside is Liberty Bay, then view from the stars towards the uh, rear of the field and then after 
after that we've got Forever Dreaming and Uber Haas still at the back of the field. Three furlongs left to go and the leaders with Oxygen Thief to on the outside runner bean in between the pair Geneva looking for a gap up the inside rail is Hannah's return there the black and yellow colours there then followed by Liberty Bay who sits in fifth and then Griggy view from the stars is travelling powerfully and looking for a gap to appear inside the final two furlongs they go. Geneva, Oxygen Thief here comes Hannah's return over on the far side then view from the stars and Gri Griggy these five as they go inside the final furlong now and it's opened up beautifully for Hannah's return Geneva is battling back view from the stars is staying on strongly as well Hannah's return by three quarters of length though as they race up towards the line Hannah's return hanging on grimly view from the stars diving Hannah's return to view from the stars then Geneva in third Griggy in fourth Ready and off and racing. Early morning due a little bit slowly away, so too racing country in the 25% boost on darts profits at Unibet Handicap. Lawn Ranger looked like one of the early pace angles and that's transpired in the early stages, is the leader in the dark blue and pink. Hashtag me too is racing there in second in the gold colours. Taking a bit of a hold, Aya is in third spot as they make their way past us. Also prominent is Where's Tom and then Trojan Truth is racing in fifth there in the diamond star fighter for treble seeking Murphy is up the inside there in the blue and yellow then still a star and Torbellino early morning due racing country is towards the rear of the field so to Golden Dove and right at the back of the field is Largo Bay so they're making the turn at the bottom of the track they're heading towards the final mile of the contest very shortly and it's Lawn Ranger who's out in front and leads by about half a length the hashtag me too who's racing in second where's Tom in the two-tone green is in third spot followed by Aya then uh, Starfighter racing in fifth spot, uh, followed then on the outside by Trojan Truth. Still a star taking a little bit of a hold. Then Torbellina, for whom there's been money in the latter stages. There then followed by Racing Country, who's towards the rear of the field, also towards the back early morning. Dew Golden Dove is still towards the rear of the field as well, as they head off towards the uh, final six furlongs. And right at the back of the field is Largo Bay. So they're heading towards the uh, end of the back straight very shortly. And uh, the two that have been out in front uh, throughout continue to be so. Lord Ranger and hashtag me too they've been traveling companions followed then by where's Tom up the inside sheepskin noseband of Aya then Trojan Truth star fighter is cutting every corner under Murphy as they make the turn at the top of the track so it's Lawn Ranger who's out in front and just about the leader to hashtag me, me too in second. Then round the outside, Aya followed then up the inner by Where's Tom. Then Starfighter Trojan Truth being driven along. Then Silastar up the inside. The Green Sleeves with Torbellino trying to get a little bit closer. There then followed up the inside by Racing Country. Then Early Morning Dew Golden Dove and Largo Bay's at the rear of the field. They've swung for home. Just over two and a half furlongs left to go. Hashtag me too in the hands of Safi Osborne has now come through to lead. Lawn Ranger is hoisting the white flag in second. Where's Tom's got an out? Nothing much for Scylla Star there. Then over on the far side, Star fight of a treble seeking Murphy. Golden Dove from the back and down the centre of the track. Early morning due as well. Hashtag me too. Where's Tom now sticking the neck out as well? Where's Tom? Hashtag me too. Golden Dove as well. Racing up towards the line. Over on the far side, where's Tom? Golden Dove the near side. To the line they go. Golden Dove beginning to get up. Golden Dove has beaten Where's Tom. Then early morning due followed by Star Fighter and hashtag me too.